The problem is there are people who actually already lived there. They're called Palestinians. And they've been living there for a very long time. So there is this slight inconvenience that the Zionists have to deal with. And they've been trying to deal with it, but these Palestinians refuse to give up. And they're putting up with all the bullying, intimidation, genocide, and all the, uh, all the different types of cruelty that have been inflicted upon them. We have a representative from the Palestine House that I would like to invite here as our first speaker. His name is uh, Brother Smile Al Yaman. To any country or any religious leader, we are here to show our loyalty to Palestine and to the Palestinian struggle to Jerusalem. Jerusalem that represents the coexistence of all people regardless of their religious affiliation. Jerusalem, the symbol of occupation. Jerusalem that one day will be free. We are here to applaud the United Church, the Canadian United Church, who yesterday approved in their conference a boycott against all products manufactured in the West Bank or Gaza or any place in the West Bank by the settlements. This resolution, taking this resolution by the United States, they are joining the UP Ontario who three, four, five years ago take boycott divestment and Jackson. As well, the postal workers who took the same resolution. Those resolutions, brothers and sisters, shows that more Canadians are in our side and coming to our side more than those people who are isolated. Look at you guys. You are from different colors, different backgrounds, and different religious association. And look at them. They are one color only. One color only. Brothers and sisters, we are here to show all the Canadian politicians who stood, and they are the minority, who stood on the other side that we could not, we couldn't be intimidated. It's our right to demonstrate and speak out our minds. Brothers and sisters, just let me tell you one thing. Please make sure that supporting the Palestinian struggle and supporting Jerusalem is not one day a year activity. We should be active every day, every place, in our workplace, in our schools, in our campuses. That's why we have to be organized and be active with others. And Palestine one day will be free. Struggle and solidarity, the Palestinian struggle, it's the same struggle all over. It's the struggle of the native people. It's the struggle against occupation in Afghanistan. It's the struggle against the tuition fee in Montreal. The struggle is the struggle for freedom, democracy, liberty, and equality, and social justice. Brothers and sisters, thank you for coming and show your solidarity. Before we continue further, I please again request you, we're going to only start the program after, once I have all the people with the placards come to this side please. So if you could please